Well, we should be live if that's working right. If not, let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us tonight here at 632. We said we'd start at 630, so we're pretty close. But uh, thank everybody for joining us for the uh, 2021 Cub Scout Summer Program kickoff. We've got a lot of great information to share, and I appreciate everybody joining us here. The uh, the agenda tonight, we're going to uh, we're doing this as a webinar format. Uh, we will have a Q&A session at the end. You'll have the opportunity to raise a hand or ask a question in the chat, and we'll make sure that we, uh, we answer those questions as we go. We're going to introduce the folks that are participating in the event. Again, my name is David Harris. I'm, uh, I work for the council, and I'm, uh, I help out with our summer camp programs and so forth. We'll also introduce the other speakers. We'll talk about our summer camp staff, a lot of familiar faces that you'll see. We'll talk about the program for our Cub resident camp, we'll talk a little bit about some of the health and safety issues that we have as we carry over from last year's successful event. Our summer camp program last year, we were one of only 30% of councils nationwide that were able to operate camp and were able to do it with absolutely no COVID related issues. So we're excited about that and looking forward to being able to do that again in 2021. Uh, and we'll talk about our brand new family adventure camp program this year. We're really excited about that. It's a great program for families and we really look forward to having a, a big turnout at that event. And we'll wind up with some question and answer and, uh, and talk a little bit about uh, what we've got going on. Uh, we will be recording this uh, and posting it on our YouTube channel. We'll share it with folks if you uh, if you want to share it with the, your other volunteers or your other parents and leaders, uh, feel free to do that. We'll send out a link to that after the fact. Uh, tonight's panelists, uh, myself I've already introduced. Uh, Dennis Kearns is our camp director. Malachi Deal, who you've all met before at summer camp if you've been, uh, is our program director. Daniel Wright, also known as Cookie, uh, is our camp commissioner. He's been uh, on our camp staff for many, many years and a program director for a number of years. He's kind of switching hats to a new role this year as our commissioner. And I thought I would share with everybody just a few faces. If you look at this list, there's a lot of familiar faces here, a lot of folks on our camp staff team that you've seen year after year after year. And that's one of the great features of the Lake of the Ozark Scout Reservation is that we have a returning staff that comes back to us and comes back to you to make sure we can deliver the best possible program year after year after year. A lot of great folks there and uh, you'll see them and more this coming summer when you come and join us at camp. Malachi, you want to talk a little bit about Akela Camp? Absolutely. Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, to the webinar. As uh, David said, my name is Malachi. I'll be the program director. Um, for if, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing some sort of outfit. And this is to show off our theme for this summer, which is beach party. So uh, whenever you come to camp, make sure you bring your lays, uh, bring some uh, Hawaiian shirt, maybe some fun hats like mine, um, and we'll just have a lot of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, dive on into a Kayla camp. So our Kayla camp is uh, a two-night uh, uh, um, camp where uh, tigers, wolves, and bears uh, will come in on the first day, uh, spend their second day with us all day long, having a lot of fun, uh, doing a couple of ventures, rank-specific, um, and then the third day, uh, packing up and heading home. Uh, listed down here is a couple of our um, adventures that we're going to be doing. Tigers in the Wild, uh, Paws of the Past, Spear of the Water, Make It Move, Bear Claws. Uh, it's just a, a fun event to come to. Uh, you want to go ahead and move on next to the slide? Uh, next, let's talk about our Cub Adventure Camp. This is our uh, five-day camp for uh, our Tigers, Wolves, and Bears, uh, just like the Akela Camp. We have a schedule, a couple schedules set up for you guys, so you guys can have a lot of fun with uh, age and rank specific. Um, some of the things uh, you'll be doing is slingshots, crafts, swimming, uh, field games, and nature walk, and a lot of other adventures that you can do. Uh, so you'll come in on the first day, have three full days of program, which is super awesome, uh, and then have that last day pack up and head home. Um, you can see a couple of our schedules when you uh, register, um, but we'll help you select your groups when you get to camp. All right. Uh, you want to move on to Weeblos. Our Weeblo camp, uh, these are our first year Weeblos. Uh, 
as it says right there, race fourth graders. Uh, it's a like before three day program, a five day event. Uh, we have some. Very awesome uh, specific groups for them, uh, also rank specific, and they get to do a lot of more uh, hands-on and a lot more uh, advanced camping things like our pellets guns, uh, fishing, boating, uh, boating, bouldering, uh, get to work on their aquanaut, engineering, uh, first responder into the woods, sportsmen, all that kind of fun stuff. All right, and then let's talk about Thunder Scouts. Our Thunder Scout group is our Arrow of Light Scouts. Uh, those are our fifth graders. Um, and that is also our three-day program, five-day event. Uh, and they're going to be uh, in their own group uh, with our uh, Thunder Scout staff. They're going to have a lot of fun, get some patrol work. Uh, they'll also be working on a couple of uh, these uh, rake-specific uh, adventures. Um, and they get to travel around camp with our staff and just, just have a lot of fun. All right. So I hope you uh, check it out. Thank you. We're going to have a lot of fun at camp, a lot of amazing adventures and activities for everybody to participate in. And we thought we'd also talk a little bit about what we're doing to make sure that you have a safe and exciting summer at the Lake of the Ozark Scout Reservation, just like we did in 2020. Dennis, you want to talk a little bit about our health and safety plan? Thank you, David. Yes, sir. 2021 Summer Camp Health and Safety Plan is based on our protocols that we started last year. We're going to continue those protocols and keep them in place. Uh, health screenings before and during camp. That's our standard. We started that last year. We're going to keep doing that. Screening of camp visitors. Any camp visitor comes in, stops by the Welcome Center, fills out a pre-event form, gets temperature checked, and then we help them, direct them to where they need to go in camp. Camp-wide activities and facilities. Uh, meals, vespers, campfires. We've changed that up to keep within the protocols of safety, and we're going to continue to do that for safety and well-being for all. Additional hand washing and hand sanitizer stations throughout camp. We had several out last year. They were very positive, well taken to, and we must continue to have those from here on out. That's an added that we like. It's just again based on safety. Face coverings. We have five areas that will require you to wear face coverings. Uh, anytime you can't keep safe distancing or get bunched up in groups, we recommend you wear your face coverings. Enhanced cleaning protocols throughout camp. That is true. We started that again, like I said earlier about last year. We're going to continue to do that. We go through periodically throughout the day and high impact areas. We clean more often, but everything gets cleaned throughout the day between certified people that's put in charge of the cleaning of our camp areas. Emergency response plan that includes the isolation. We will have an isolation area standard is what we're required to have. Quarantine our medics and our doctors will keep a close eye on everything that we need to go for on that aspect. You just check in one or two weeks after camp. We'll probably send out emails or get even phone calls to check on how you all are doing. We did this last year. It was a great, great touch and base with everybody. They, they, they feed us more information back to us. It's just to keep us ahead and making sure you're, you get home and you had a, a wonderful, great time. Staff members assigned for cleaning. Again, like I said a while ago, only staff members going to be cleaning. Each staff member will clean the area that the scouts go through thoroughly. Every time the group comes in, goes out, we clean. The main part of the staff will watch that area. The rest of us certified will be cleaning the shower houses, the trading posts, so forth like that. This is a pre-event medical screening checklist. This is new, different from last year, not too much. It asks the same questions. You'll fill it out, you'll leave it with us, and we'll keep it, and then uh, we go from there. Everybody that comes into our camp will have to fill one of these out. This is a checklist that our troops and PACs will be using throughout each day. The cub leader or the parents can take the temperature of their uh, scout, Cub Scout or Scouts BSA, do on that, write it down, and anything that's out of difference, just notify us and the medic will come down and spend time with you. Camp arrival and visitors. 
uh, staggered check-ins. That's a great idea. If you want to uh, email me when you would like to come to camp for your check-in, we'll, we'll get that worked out. Check-in will be in the parking lot. You'll hand in our paperwork. We'll get you moving on and keep the process going swiftly for you. Med checks in campsites. That is true. The medics will come around with med checkers and they'll go through your camp uh, medical forms and everything, keep you in the shade, keep you cool, and keep everything moving. Uh, activities at camp. That's the pre-event screening form that you just seen a while ago. Outside vendors, access limited. That's true. Our vendors that supply our merchandise to the camp will, will stay at certain locations and then we check them and then we move it into inside the camp. All campers and visitors must check in and out. The, the check in for in and out is a standard safety protocol that we love doing. It's just to let us know who's in camp, who's not in camp, storms come in or anything else would happen. We can count and be able to have an idea where everyone is located at. Campsites, units, campers welcome to bring their own tents. If you still want to bring your own tent, feel free to bring it. Our tents will be up for you to use if you want to. Limit two campers per tent. That's the standard on the first tent size, everything. Same household youth and same gender in tents is what we recommend. Head to toe sleeping encouraged. What to bring? It's the standard the units, bringing thermometers, units, uh, cots. If you don't have a cot, we have limited cots at camp. You can check them out from the quartermaster. But like I said, we just have a limit offer of those. Mask for participants. Bring your own mask, mask, cloth mask, face coverings, whatever you prefer to wear. Bring an ample supply of those for yourself. Cleaning supplies. We will have campsite cleaning supplies there. Soap and hand sanitizer will be out for everyone to use. Flags for any campsite ceremonies. You're more than welcome to do that at your own or come to the camp fly ceremonies. Campers, uh, bring leather gloves for the bouldering. You're, you're gonna wanna do that. Bring your own gloves. It's much easier and they fit your hands much better. Life jackets, we have ours there, but if you wanna bring your own, put your name on it, put your pack number on it. So it can be identified if it gets left behind. But we encourage whatever makes you comfortable, please bring your life jacket if you want. Camp chairs, we highly recommend camp chairs for all to bring because some of the activities are gonna be throughout the camp and that way you'll have a chair to sit down in the shade and watch the Cubs uh, do what, the, make their program work. Visit our website, Cub Scout Leader's Guide, pre-event screening forms, help, uh, camp health and safety plan, family adventure camp event guide. Please go there, look at them, download them and read through them these are great, wonderful uh, programs for you to guides to help you get through the week. www.grcbsa.org. Malachi, you want to talk a little bit about Family Adventure Camp, this exciting brand new program we're offering? Absolutely. Uh, just like David said, this is brand new to our camp, and we're all super excited to uh, see this program in action and see you guys experience this. Uh, so Family Adventure Camp is a, a unique camp in the way that the entire family is involved. Um, your Cub Scout can come, uh, their brother or sister can come, the parents can come, everyone can enjoy. Um it's for the entire family. And like it says right there, it's happening July 23rd through the 25th. Um, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see our schedule. It's a little different uh, than our normal check-in times, but we're going to check in in that Friday morning. You'll experience some of our classes and activities that afternoon. Uh, Saturday, you'll have all day of program and having a lot of fun. Uh, and then Saturday is when uh, your checkout day is. Um, you want to go ahead and talk about some of our activities? All right. Uh, we're going to go through each activity and kind of explain what exactly it is and their fun little names. Uh, so aqua bumming, that is our swimming activity uh, at our pool uh, where families can come and just enjoy a summertime classic uh, and just have some fun swimming. Uh, boating Bonanza, that's an opportunity for you guys to experience our non-motorized vehicles, uh, watercrafts. 
such as canoeing, our paddle boats. We'll pull out some uh, stand-up paddle boards for our adults uh, and just be a lot of fun down at the lake. Lake Lovers. Uh, our Lake Lovers event is our boat ride event. So you get to uh, climb aboard and have our staff take you on a ride on our motorized uh, watercraft uh, around our lake and just experience the view, experience the wind in your hair, uh, and enjoy the lake. And then our Fish On program, that is our fishing activity where you and your family can go down to our fishing area, uh, have some time. Uh, you'll be instructed on safe ways to fish in our area. Uh, and we'll see who can catch the biggest fish. We'll, we'll see. We'll have a little competition out of it. All right, our Hawkeye adventure is our archery adventure. Uh, that's going to happen at our archery range. And uh, when you get there, you and your family will be instructed on sa uh, safety for archery and actually get to shoot a little bit. Our super slingers. This is our slingshot activity. Uh, we'll have a multiple different targets set up where you and your family can try to knock down as many targets as possible, have some fun, work together as a team, or compete with your family and see who is the best shot. Ready, aim, fire. Uh, this is an event for all our uh, participants where uh, it's BBs and we'll uh, take it down to your uh, rifle range. Uh, you'll be instructed on safety and how to use a BB gun and just have some fun seeing uh, how good of a shot you are. Ready, aim, fire, plus. Uh, this is for Weeblos, Arab Light Scouts, and adults only. So that's that fourth, fifth grade uh, area and older. Uh, we'll be using pellet guns, uh, which is a little uh, more dangerous uh, for the older scouts, uh, but still a lot of fun. Definitely sign up uh, if your family wants to do that. See if you're the best shot. Camp Chef. This is where you get to experience some cooking in the outdoors. Uh, we'll take you over to our outdoor skills area, and our staff will help uh, you prepare, cook, and enjoy a fabulous meal or snack. Crafty, we'll take you over to the pro uh, the Sinkfield program building, uh, where we'll uh, help your family assemble some sort of gadget or craft that you guys will be able to take home and show your friends and have a lot of fun with it. And you can definitely get creative. iLab Ingenuity, this is a, a mind task. Uh, you're going to go over to our Singfield Invention Lab, uh, located at the end of our parade field. And there, our staff has a little challenge, a little team-building exercise uh, that you and your family will try to tackle uh, and see how you guys can do with your problem-solving skills. Nature rocks! Uh, this is where your family can go and experience the outdoors. Our ecology staff will take you out uh, and uh, experience our nature trail, uh, talk a little bit about the animals and trees that live there, and just have a lot of fun experiencing uh, nature. And then tower time. Uh, tower time is our activity over by our uh, climbing tower. Um, all our scouts or um, youth under uh, fifth grade we can experience our bouldering wall and a couple of uh, team building games set on by our staff. Uh, and adults and older youth can actually have the opportunity to climb our uh, rock wall, which is really awesome. So I hope you go and sign up for that activity. In addition to all of these uh, opportunities and uh, programs, uh, we will have our blacksmith shop up and running all weekend long. Uh, so your family, either in between groups or if you want to take a, a block off and just go see the blacksmith, you can do that as well. He'll be uh, there working hard, uh, making some really cool stuff. So I, I suggest you go and check him out. Uh, you'll uh, be able to enjoy wonderful meals, uh, spacious camp space, privacy, family-friendly uh, bathrooms, shower facilities, and fantastic evening programs.
which that will involve uh, campfires, uh, stargazing, uh, s'mores, and field games, which is going to be super fun. The cost for this, uh, registration is only $75 per family member. Uh, kids under four, uh, four and under are free. And it includes all activities, meals, souvenir, patch. Uh, and you should also visit the Lee White Trading Post while you're at camp and get some awesome camp goodies. Think of it as... Looking at the questions here, I see uh, I see questions uh, from uh, Marie Hunter and from Tamara, wondering about the size of our groups in camp. Uh, Malachi, what are the sizes of the groups for Cub Adventure and for Weebelow's camps? For uh, our Cub Adventure and Weeblows, um, those are those depend on how many people attend that camp that week. Um, we usually cap it around uh, 20 youth and adult, um, but it also varies on how many people will come to that various camp and how many groups we will be running. Uh, so I, we can give you a more detailed answer uh, closer to camp. Uh, Marie, I hope that answered your question. I don't know whether you were talking about Cub Resident Camp or about the Family Adventure Camp. Uh, but uh, we've got uh, we've got a fantastic staff. We have, uh, as it as it turns out, for our, our cub resident camps, we tend to have more staff than we need. So we are we're more than able to accommodate uh, all different sizes of groups. Tamara asked about the adult leader parent requirements for Weebelow Camp and Akela Camp. Uh, we we like to have two adults for every group, and that's why we've scheduled these camps to happen all at the same time. So if you have a group that wants to come to Akela or Cub Adventure or Weebelows, they're all happening at the same time. So you can bring the whole group and you can share leadership along the way. If you find yourselves short on leadership, we uh, we will team you up with another pack so that you can share adult leadership and make sure you have the two deep leadership covered along the way. And Marie was asking about Cub Resident Camp, so I think we uh, I think we covered that. Uh, Cookie, do you have anything you want to add as our camp commissioner that uh, we may have missed along the way? Oh, I'm here now. <laughs> um, I think you guys have hit all the big stuff. Um, I just want to remind everyone it's going to be a great time, a fun time. I'm really excited to see everyone out having the time of their lives. And yeah, that's all I want to say. Thank you, Cookie. We have uh, we have an amazing summer planned. We're so excited about uh, everyone uh, getting back out to camp. As you've seen on all of the slides here, we talk about escaping the great indoors. Uh, we've all been cooped up for a long time now, and uh, we're we're as excited as you are to be getting back outdoors and spending some time at camp and uh, and getting away from uh, from the couch of the TV and really enjoying everything that scouting and the Lake of the Ozark Scout Reservation. Has has to offer. Uh, I, I do appreciate everybody joining us tonight. We've uh, Hopefully we've answered a lot of questions and shared a lot of good information. Uh, this event has been recorded and we will get it put up on our, uh, on our YouTube channel and shared back with everybody. But again, thank you for being here. Thank you, Dennis and Malachi and Cookie for all of your insights and your information about all of the amazing things that are coming up in 2021.